yo, what up, peeps? Edwin here with another travel log episode. And this time I just arrived in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, upon getting over here, I was like trying to get a feel of the vibe. I do see a stadium. There's actually a stadium on my left side of my car right now. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I'm going to take some drone shots real quick of a couple buildings here. Um, I'm going to take one of the stadium. It's right beside me. And there's a couple of other, there's like an AT&T building there. Um, there's like a bridge over there all the way at the end of this street, but the road's closed, so you can't really go there. Won't be able to record too much tonight because I just arrived and it's like around like eight. Um, we are one hour behind, um, so CDT time zone. Stay here for at least two nights, I like to say, because I have to work in the morning. Um, so around five-ish, I'll head straight out and kind of explore the city, get some GoPro recordings, um, drone shots, pictures, and then followed by night two would be more of that and then basically wrap it up and then head back home. What's up peeps? So I arrived here at the Airbnb and um, I'm going to start recording tomorrow after five so straight out of work i gotta work in the morning but after that you should be able to pick this up right back where i started and um yeah pretty cool place i'm staying at right now um sucks that i'm only staying here for one night but you know it is what it is you know you gotta do things um to get the perfect shots uh, for the night So people, so first stop here. This is called Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm here at the campus. I just parked my car. There's a little garage here. Just walked out of that and I'm about to go up these steps and check out the campus. Let's see what we have. And this is just where I wanted to be. I've seen this spot in Google Maps, and I was like, am I gonna find a place close enough to park my car? And long and behold, there was a little garage there that I could do that in. So, uh, I wanted to come here because of this mountain. So we got several halls here on the campus. We got Here's the make water, make water hall. And I see something up there that says R. Milton and Dent's Johnson Center. Now I'm gonna take some uh, drone shots and see how this comes out. Finish the drone session, came out nice. Head into the next spot. All right, I'm at the other spot. And there's this cool building that uh, I happened to drive by to. And um, I think it's called the JW 
Marriott. I don't know. It's a tall building, tall, shiny building. But uh, that'll be cool to uh, take drone shots of. Just arrived in Broadway. I'm gonna check that out. It's a nice, cool, you know, lit up place that you can go to. Um, the center spot for music too as well. There's a music city center hall right down over there. So um, it's probably closed, but I'm gonna see if they're open. Um, and then I'm gonna take FPV um, GoPro shots of the, the area. Also drone shots too. See this baby take off for a Broadway show. Lift off. All right, finished with the drone session shots. Uh, it took a long time because I wanted to take this and then the AT&T building. So now I have two versions. Now I have day and then I have night. Um, I think I should do those more often too because I think they'll look really awesome if I showed you guys night and day versions of it. So I'm gonna make sure I do that um, from, from now on if I have the time, let's say. Besides that building, I took a what you call a waypoint mode. And with the waypoint mode, it just shoots in a straight line and you can change the speed at the, uh, the speed of the drone at, at the time of the, uh, the waypoint. So it literally just goes in a straight line. That's all it is. Very simple to use and to navigate to it as a setting on the drone. I did park in the garage there uh, for an hour. So if I stay there, if I keep the car there a little bit longer, I'm gonna have to um, go over, but an extra $5 won't kill. So I think we can bang this out do the whole uh, broad street here. And I'm just gonna go down the whole street, the whole road and, uh, and then come back. Um, so I can show you guys how that looks like in the downtown part of Nashville. Um, I think this is like the most uh, exciting part of the whole city to be honest with you so it'd be good to show you guys the uh, the nightlife um, I'm not gonna try to stay here overnight <laughs> I do have to head back and it's like 7 p.m. right now um, and mind you this is CTD time so we're one hour back all right part one part one
end of the road, I'm gonna go to the other side and show you guys the other side of the uh, the street here. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. The music scene is huge here. Um, and I mean, myself as a musician, like as a drummer, it's cool that you get to see the musicians playing, right, from like outside the window. And then the drummer's like right there, like in your face, so you can see like exactly what he's playing and stuff. Um, so that's really cool. If I was living here, I'd probably be doing that like all day. Observing the uh, musicians. Now we're on the other side here. Besides music, of course you have the bars and you have bar food as well, but then you also have just like regular straight up restaurant, legit food, and I've heard that they have some really good like hot, hot uh, spicy chicken or something. I'm pretty sure they smothered that up like a lot, right? And put all the barbecue on there and then the sweets and sour sauce on it. Must be absolutely amazing. Um, sucks I can't try it out. If I was here a little bit longer, if I stay here for like at least like one more night, I'll definitely probably try it out. But since I'm not going to be here that, you know, all these nights, only for tonight, I only have time to just um, inspect uh, the street. I'm going to keep dabs to this guy. What up, boy? What up, boy? What you got climbing? GoPro. Okay. Filming oh. the whole Broadway and shit here. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be out here freestyling, you know. Awesome, you know, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably catch you. I'll probably come back here and catch you. I'll be out here. I'm chilling the group. <laughs> People are like so, so awesome here. I mean, I can understand. I mean, I can understand why people want to live here. Because of the vibe, because of the music scene. Okay. But quickly, quickly, we'll run through before we leave. It's getting dark. this moment where I stopped this um, I stopped this guy who uh, was holding a pair of drumsticks and uh, it was this older guy I recorded him because I wanted him to like uh, say something to the camera and record him see what he had to say and stuff but I did not record that whole thing for some reason I thought I hit the record button but it didn't work oh well let's keep going yeah. Seconds 
a few minutes. And when you get drunk, you gotta pay for it in the morning from hangover. I don't do that. I gotta pay for it. No. I don't wanna pay for things. No. It's almost nice. Alright, so that was basically it. I gave you a quick rundown up and down of Broad. Even showed you the back area over there. And that's basically it. That wraps it up from this spot. I wish I had more time to check out more of the city, of course. Um, the city itself, I don't think it's as big as Boston, to be honest with you. Um, it has its spots, it has its cool, cool areas, you know, like this one, of course, the music scene is very great here. I understand why a lot of musicians might want to come here to play, you know? It's just like a musician's dream, kind of. Um, you know, of course, besides this, there's like a lot more other things too as well. Oh, yeah. Places that musicians, um, they're hot spots for musicians in the music scene. All right. <laughs> All right, I went in here. I feel like I'm part of like some kind of like secret organization. Oh, there's like um. <laughs> oh, there's a. It's a shoe store inside a parking lot. I think this is where the Macy's is. Bruh. Yeah, I think it's the Macy's. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that clock tower. You know what? Uh, I'm back here at the Liberty Bell for the second time. And we have a haunted building here. Want to talk about this? Hello. My name is Christopher Shields. Nine of us were slaves here. Okay. Okay. Gentlemen That's... will be able to tell us better. According right. to Pennsylvania law, <laughs> after six months, we should have been free. All right, tell us a little bit about this as we're walking by. Mm -hmm. So I am a newbie. Uh, please do not take a newbie <laughs> uh, that I say seriously. This is something I heard. No, hand take her seriously. Door. She's a professional. She's lying to you. She fuck? has a PhD. No, not in this. <laughs> not in this. You're, you're gonna have to anyway, that's the Independence Hall. That's where apparently, like the way the Senate used to sit. Like a lot of deliberations on the Declaration of Independence were there, and freaky shit happened because when politicians are involved, like shit happens. And yeah. Well, let's get you at the light because you can't even see your face. Sure. So, there we go. Guys. There we go. Now we can see that okay. face. Awesome. Yes. Great time of the night. A wonderful see face. face. I try. <laughs> so, that's the Independence Hall, and that's where I just said that. So, freaky shit used to happen, including, of course, stress. Not stress. Yes, yeah, stress sex drugs and politics yeah sex yeah and a lot of like burning shit down because of uh. the sex, stress sex and politics and a lot of like tiny wooden dicks that our man here will tell us about because we just told him where we saw the small wooden dicks and why is it that elderly women uh, in the mid 1800s were directed to remove the said small dicks and not anybody else and tell us why was that no you tell them <laughs> you tell them you, I just told you. I want you to tell me. No, you tell them. You tell them. Yeah, yeah. So apparently, again, secondhand knowledge. Uh, so there was a whorehouse like on the other side of the street. Again, I have no clue. I've been here all of two weeks. So please do not kill me, people. But uh, that uh, so there was a lot of problem with like trying to identify where the whorehouse was because prostitution was illegal. So what the uh, they did like in ingenious business strategy was that they got like the, there's like a set of like posts there. Like could you show them the posts? 
It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, you have to really get close there. So what they would do is that they would make, I don't even know what's the technology for making small wooden dicks, but they did it. And then they would just like post them on the columns and the direction of the dicks would tell like patrons like where the brothel was, which I think is fantastic. Like that's, that's great for like what, the 1800s? And yeah, but uh, unfortunately, like everybody could see those dicks. And then people who didn't care for those dicks also saw those dicks. And they were like, oh shit, we can't do this and we can't let this happen. So they were like, oh, we need to remove the said dicks. Uh, as you can see, I like saying the word dicks, so I will, I, will keep, I, I will keep doing that. And then they got, so then they started deciding on who would remove those small wooden dicks. And they're like, oh shit, we like the men can't because no, I'm sorry, homophobia. And uh, the aristocrats definitely didn't want to do it. The politicians didn't want to do it. And um, then they were like, oh, let, let, who, who, who are like worthless second class citizens in their own country? Women, of course. So women will be responsible for doing that. Except younger women would get very aroused by looking at those small Ooh. dicks. Yeah. Yeah, no, not yeah. really. Like those small dicks would be like this small and they don't do it for anybody. So instead of just like letting you know. Size doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. <laughs> just letting you know, it does. And um, yeah, so they were like, no, 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 they're, they're too pure and they get really like, sorry, you just can't do it. So they were like, oh, let's let old women who are past their prime, who are it's either so widowed. Nice. And by old and past their prime, we mean people, women that are in their 30s. Like you cross 30 and you're dead to the world. Your ovaries are That's dead, your uterus true. is dead. That's we know true. that now, right? Like both of us are going to turn 30 soon. So we know <laughs> that's not that's not the case. Hashtag we're getting old, my knees hurt. Uh, but. <laughs> At that point in time, uh, so they were like, these are the best people. So you had like, you know, these uh, old women, quote unquote, like going around with like buckets and then just like trying to remove wooden dicks from posts. Damn. And that's how they spent. So they came from their sewing circles, their knitting circle, and then they started removing dicks. That's my story for you guys. That was a lot of wooden dicks then. That's a lot of wooden. That's a lot of wood. That is a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. To make dicks. Mm -hmm. I don't did they car carve it themselves or like how did they make the dicks? I have no idea, buddy. Again, like I said, that, I've been here That's all what of, I want to know. I've been here all of like a week and a half. So maybe... <laughs> we still got to investigate on that. Yeah. I need to investigate. That's, that's the main thing. Why the fuck am I in Philadelphia? To investigate who made the small wooden dicks, of course. That's the best use of my time too. Yes. All right. Great. And that's Bye. a wrap with the, uh, the building here. Haunted building. Oh, Ben Franklin. Do you want to mention that? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a fuck Ben Franklin. Fuck Ben Franklin. He fucked everybody over. Yeah, Ben Franklin, to me, sounds like a dick. I don't know. There's another Weird. interesting building with the Ben Franklin statue, but we'll keep that for another time. Yeah. All right. We're going to check out more of the city. Um, and we have this little tour guide here. Yeah, sure. Let's call him. That was a lot. That was a lot. Yeah, that was a More than me, walk. but... Yeah. Alright. Never, never, never. Oh, no, you think you're about to get all this shit. Oh, yeah. Have a nice little cool building here.